Hello YouTube world, this is Johnny Mill coming to you today with a uh, first video of 2022. We're getting ready for the Megalodon snow, so they say we're, we're scheduled for 12 to 18. Let's get it. Hello YouTube world, this is Johnny Mill coming to you today. Uh, getting ready for the Megalodon. I'm out here making my sidewalk salt buckets. Um, so I got two rounds of sidewalk salt buckets here. There's about 11 buckets here. You can see I got a little calcium in there. Uh, this one here has just straight salt. You can see how clean this salt is. This is really good salt. Um, the reason why that's so dusty is because this cheaper salt vaporizer has a little bit more dust in the bag where this a little bit more expensive salt, about 50, 50 to 75 cents more per bag is a lot cleaner. And, but that other salt just gets everything dirty. So, um, it, that's just, you know, even, even if you use bulk salt, bulk salt will do that. Cause there's a lot of dust and brine bulk salt. But anyway, having said that, uh, this is my first video of 2022. We're getting ready for this massive snowstorm. As you can see, I've only went through one, two, three pallets of salt so far. Uh, not very many. I had two here. One, two, three, four. So I went through four and a little bit of this. It got cold last week, so I, I started mixing some of the this little blend in just to melt the lots, but uh, not really going through a lot. I still got one, two, three, four, five, six in the back. So I got six more pallets left until I have to go get some more. Um, seven, eight. I only use this when it's really cold. It is 15 degrees today. It's supposed to get down to like 11 or 10. And this snowstorm is supposed to be a doozy. So we will see. You know how the weather channel is. They tell you it's gonna be a foot of snow just so you'll watch every just so you'll watch every weather channel, you know. Um, but that's what I'm I'm rolling with this year is the boss spreader again, the the big one, the eleven hundred. I still got the Ford 2019 F250, 19,000 miles on it, and we're still rolling with the big wide out. Everything still looks good here. I've only had to drop this plow one time this year, so she's still doing good. And so I did have an issue with my boss. Um, this is this is in its third season, and I had to replace the motor and the actuator. I uh, was very disappointed in that. It went bad in the middle of a round, and so I found that, and then I went and bought that. So... If that boss does go down, I have a little TGS 600 ready and waiting. Everything matches up. I have an extra controller now. And if so, if that big one does go down, it's no big deal. I can just roll that on. I'll just have to feel that a little bit more, probably twice as much more. Um, this does feel about 800-ish pounds. Maybe you can get 820 in there, depending on the salt. Um, that right there. I'm assuming it's half the capacity, so I'm assuming it's 400 pounds. That's my assumption, depending on the material that you want to put in there. Um, not extremely happy with the boss spreading system and the fact that that motor and actuator went that quick. But, you know, having said that, being able to dolly this off is the key. So look, look at that. And then you just disconnect it. You pull that lever out pull the things off you disconnect it and you just push it forward and then it comes drops right back and i can dolly this off in a matter, a matter of minutes so you just click it back like that we're ready to go so we're ready for the snowstorm i had to chip away the ice out of the the bed there it was all it was all my bed it rained and then it froze so what i've been doing is checking the snow blowers the snow blower ready uh salt spreader salt buckets it's gonna be a full 24 hour storm. So it looks like it's gonna come in Sunday at one and leave by Monday at one. So that's probably two full days of plowing. Gonna be a really nice uh, income boost for us. And we'll probably use a good bit of that salt too. So that's what I've been up to. Uh, basketball season obviously is here. We are 10 and 0 on the season. Um, we're ranked third. Uh, that's really good. So I'm excited about that. Been busy with that. But that, that's about it, guys. Just getting ready for the new season. And just really 
concentrating on my pricing plan you know especially for fertilizer fertilizer bags have doubled uh, what i was paying for has absolutely almost doubled and you know uh, wheat control has went up about 45 percent and if you're not paying attention what's going on with inflation and in this business i'm telling you, you you could get rocked next year you know this this coming season 2022 is going to be interesting i mean really really interesting this is uh one of the the years that i'm really spending a lot of time looking at numbers and profit margins and hourly rates and jobs you know i really want to make sure that we're making maximum amount of dollars i'm raising everything everything everything's being raised the mowing the fertilizing is going way up i raised up all of my snow plowing uh, two uh, everything got a raise salt was more expensive this year than it was last year and i just i just feel like it's time to you know really start charging uh, appropriately and making sure that you know that your what you're charging is meeting your budget i don't have to meet so and so's budgets but i do have to make sure i'm meeting my budgets and if you're not paying attention to the you, you know to the you know the margins like the gas how much gas has went up how much my insurance has went up how much parts have went up um how much food has went up uh, how much uh, it, it, everything is going up and if you're not paying attention and I encourage you everybody you know to, to really start to take a look and make sure that you are making the money you need to make because this is the stuff that bites you next November when you send out all your oh, I'm good I'm good and then all of a sudden November you realize you're not good so I, I would really I'm gonna give you a good example I paid about $700 for this this right now for this flex force at my dealership they only have one and right now with one battery, it is $999. I paid a little over $700 for this. So, and I'm sure the only reason why it's that high at my dealer is because they only have one and they could probably only get one. So this little piece of equipment right here is $300 more than it was when I originally bought it a year ago. And that is saying something, guys. I mean, that's just, that that's inflation. That's supply chain. That's issues. Um, if I were you, I would start buying my oil filters now. I would start doing, uh, really taking a look at everything. Because I'm telling you, um, supply chain is an issue. Parts are going to be an issue. You know, if you only have one mower this year, I can tell you a horror story I'm going through right now. But I'm not going to because the people that are dealing with it right now probably watch this video and I don't want to make them any matter than they probably already are but I have had a piece of machinery down since October and I still don't have it and I'm hoping to get it by back by April and it's a supply chain and but that's that's what I'm saying if you have one piece of equipment like this spreader it wasn't even stock like this this how big this is I wanted to buy another one just like it and I had to buy that one that was the only one they had in stock so I bought it and I haven't even hooked it. I hooked it up just to see if it works. It does work, but I haven't run any salt through it. It's just sitting here to when I need it. Um, I, I know you know about the trucks. I mean, obviously, if you wanted to buy a truck right now, you are going to get hosed. What I spent $52,000 on this truck with the plow. And I paid, I think I paid around four or 5000 for that installed with the light. I got a light with that. And, uh. I'm telling you to to do this now. You're talking about seventy grand probably, with the with the plow, the cost of the truck. Um, it's it's amazing. It's amazing what these used trucks are even going for. And I, I just I don't know, guys. I, I've never seen anything like it. Um, how one year you can go from like you know everything is in check to one guy taking over i, I don't care who you are I, I don't care who you are if you cannot see this then then something is really wrong if you cannot see the stark difference you know with what's being done you know with the fertilizing you should see these fertilizing it, it is it is it is a devastating thing what's going on in the fertilizing market and it's just like they don't want you to work they, they make it really tough for you to work 
you know, it's going to be hard for me to make the margins I need to make because I have to raise them so high. I'll probably lose quite a bit of fertilizing, but that's the chance I'm going to have to take because I'm not going to go out and work for free. Um, I'm not going to go work out for a lesser margin than what I was just previously making. That's just not how business is run. And I feel bad because you just keep passing it on, passing it on. You know, even this kind of stuff, you know, uh, rebuy off of the middleman, basically. So I buy this off the middleman. So the middleman gets to clear his warehouse out, but I never get to clear my warehouse out. Like I got to buy extra storage. I got all the salt and it's the same thing with fertilizer. They want me to buy up front right now, you know, cause they don't know what they're going to have in their warehouse. And, and I, I said this, I, I flat out said, I said, you know, it's a shame that you get to clear your warehouse out. But I don't never, I have to go buy storage. I got to buy build bigger, bigger buildings to, to store all this stuff. And it's like, you're always pushing the profit on to the next year. And, and some of you might not understand what that means, but if you have to spend an extra three or $4,000 in salt because you're running out of salt and you have to get it, you don't know if it, you're, you're storing it. And then obviously they're, they want to clear their warehouse um, because they don't want to hold it. So everything has changed. The middleman used to be the warehouse. They would get the product. You would go to the warehouse and bring it to your place. And when you needed more, you could go back to the warehouse. But what's happening is the warehouses are selling everything. And so if you don't have storage, then you're screwed. So that's what's really going on here. And, you know, like a buddy of mine said, if you don't have it on the shelf, you can't sell it. So, guys, that's my time. I just wanted to touch base with you. I, I know we went on a little rant there, but I wanted to try to get a video out in 2022 let you know what I was doing and what was going on and you know what my winter you know what my winter setup looked like still using a boss in the western I'm still using these wheeled shovels by uh, snowcaster I'm still using the snowcaster push shovel the snowcaster contractor grade snowcaster snowcaster homeowner grade and this is a western but it's a snowcaster basically they just just put a western on it that's what i'm using for shovels the toro toro 60 volt uh, snow blower for anything over two three inches i use that um the salt i'm still using vaporizer and i'm still using when it gets really down there i'll use the premium blend mix and i bought all this pre so now i'm going through it and you know, it looks like I'll be able to go through all of this and, and I'm really happy about that because I need I need this space for fertilizer. I still got a little fertilizer left over from last year, but I need this space for the new shipment that's going to come in. And so we got to get rid of the salt. All right, guys, that's my time. Any questions, comments, concern? I really hope your 2022 is on track. Remember, get into those numbers, baby, and really start to look. Are you making money?